In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a bubble UPnP as a media server with your smart television. Before I begin, I must stress this only applies to the paid version of the software. If you only have the free version, you can only use the cast option and the media server option is only available if you buy the actual product. So for this demonstration, I'm using a Android tablet. If you're using an Android phone or even an Apple phone, the process should be very similar. So you do need to change some settings for you to be able to use the media server option. So first of all, let's click on the Bubble UPnP app. So the phone version may look slightly different. You may need to click on the three dashes, which is the more option to bring up the settings icon. If not, just click on the settings icon, which is in the bottom left hand corner. Once that loads, scroll down towards the bottom and you're looking for the local and cloud option. So click on that. Then you want to click on the actual second option, which is the DLNA media server settings. So click on that. And then you want to click on the third option, which is enable remote browsing. So click on that. Then click on this option here, which is to configure the media allowed. So you can choose what media on your device you want to be able to view on your television. So in my advice, click all of them, music, video, images. Also, if you have an SD card in installed in your phone or your tablet, also click this option. So once that's done, we can X that page. So just click OK if that pops up. You may also need to disable battery saver. So if you go back to the main settings page, just click on settings again and there is a battery optimization setting so click on that to disable it again just follow the settings on your screen as the process may be slightly different for every single device so once the battery optimization page loads up you need you usually need to click on the little arrow up here and you need to choose the all apps option then look for the bubble app which should be in alphabetical order so there it is if i click on that i can then select don't optimize so it won't optimize the battery click done so that's pretty much it for now so the next um, stage is to show you how you can view your media files from your tablet or your smartphone on your smart television okay the next step is to be able to view our photos and video files on our smart television. So first of all, make sure your television is switched on and is obviously connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your tablet or your smartphone. Then we need to make sure that the Bubble UPN app is turned on. So you need to keep this app turned on the entire time when you're you know, streaming contents from your tablet to your television. You can minimize it, such as pressing the circle, but you cannot completely shut it. If I close it, it will stop playing on the TV. So make sure it's open and it stays on. So once that loads, the process again will be slightly different for every single television model. So I'm gonna do this on my very old Panasonic television. I think it's from about 2015. So to be able to use the media server, I have to press the apps option on the remote. So I'm just gonna pan up to the television screen a minute. So I'm gonna press apps. Then I'm gonna select the media server from the list. Then you can see listed second um, on the list is a bubble UPnP media server, so select that. Then you can select the folders you want. So in my case, all my files are stored on a Samsung SD card. And again, select the folder you want in my case, movies. Now, of course, I've, I've created all these folders. Yours may look slightly different. So I want to select the film, select the folder, select the film. And it starts playing as easy as that. So that's one option. I'm just going to show you another television now. Okay, this demonstration is done on a Samsung television. Again, this is quite an old television. So the process to be able to view your files on this television is slightly different from the old Panasonic I just showed you. So this time I'm going to select the source button on the remote control. 
again, the app is being started on the tablet. So if I search along the top list, I can see the bubble UPMP option here. So again, select it, then select all content. And again, I can search the, the folder. So again, I can select the Samsung SD card, select my movies option. And again, I can choose a movie from the folder list, such as so. And again, that movie has now started playing. So that's another option. Okay, this is done on another Panasonic television. This time, this is a, uh, I think it's two or three years old, this model. So this may apply to newer models. So this time, I'm actually going to select the home app on the remote control. So press the home app. And once the menu at the bottom appears, select devices. And then let that load. And you can see down the bottom here is the Bubble UPMP app. So again, select that. And again, go through the same process, find your files, click on them. And again, that loads no problem whatsoever. So that's how you can do it on three separate TVs. Again, bear in mind, every TV may be slightly different, but hopefully that will help you. Thanks for watching.